Hey everyone, so here I'm doing exercise seven point three seventh question. This is from fraction chapter of a class six, and the question is: Reduce the following fractions to simplest form. They have given five questions to us. The first one is forty eight by sixty. So to solve these problems, you can go by the cancellation method. That is the one way of doing it. And the one who doesn't know the cancellation method, I'm going to show you how to solve this. So what I'm going to do here is. I'm going to find the prime factorization of the both the numbers in the numerator and denominator, and then I'm going to cancel the common factor. So first, I'm going to take forty-eight. We know forty-eight goes in two table, two twenty-four is a. Again, twenty-four goes in two table, two twelve is a. Again, two six is a twelve, and then two three is a six, and then three one is a three. Okay, this is a prime factorization, so you should take only prime numbers while doing this. The next number I have is sixty. Again, sixty goes in two table. I'm going to start with two. So two thirties are sixty. Again, two fifteens are is thirty, and five go fifteen goes in three tables. So three fives are fifteen, and then five ones are five. Okay. Once we have done the prime factorization, we're gonna write down again. So forty eight upon sixty is equal to. So the, for forty eight, we got all these factors. So I'm gonna write down that. So it's two into two into two into two into three, and for sixty, I got this factors right. It is two into two into three into five. Once you have written this, now cancel out the common factors. You can say I can cancel one two from here, okay, and then I can cancel one more two. I can cancel one three. That's it. Now remaining you have to just multiply and write down. So numerator I have a two two is a four. Denominator I have five. So the simplest form will be four by five. This is a way of solving it, or you can just do the cancellation. That is, you can cancel this in two table or any table which which has a common factor. Like here, I'm going to cancel this forty eight and sixty. I'm going to cancel this forty eight and six table. Six eights are forty eight. Six tens are sixty. Again, eight and ten can be cancelled in two table. Two fours are eight, and two fives are ten. We got four upon five. So forty eight by sixty can cancel in two table, four table. It's on you with which number you're going to cancel. But at the end, you get the same answer. That is four by five. Now we're going to move on to the next problem, which is B. Here we have one fifty upon sixty. Again, same thing. We're going to do the prime factorization of one fifty and sixty. For sixty, we have just done. For one fifty, we're going to do it here. So one fifty is like it's an even number. It goes in two table. I'm going to start with two. So two into Seventy five is one fifty. Again, seventy five goes in three table. Three twenty five is a seventy five. Again, I'll take five. Five five is a twenty five. Yes, and then we have five ones are five. Okay. For sixty, we have, I just showed you, but again, I'm gonna write down for the sixty also here. So sixty is a even number. I'm gonna start with two. Okay. So here two three two third two thirty is a sixty, and then two fifteens are is thirty. And then three fives are fifteen, and then we have a five ones are five. That's it. Again, same. Just write down in place of one fifty all the factors we got. Again, for sixty also we have to write down, and then we have to cancel out the common factors from it. So for one fifty we have a two into three into five into five, and for sixty we have a two into two into three into five. Now from here I can cancel one two, which is a common here. I can cancel one three. I can cancel one five. Now left over in the numerator is five, and in denominator is two. So the answer is five by two. If it's lengthy, you can go by the cancellation method. You can cancel the zeros. You can cancel in three table. Okay. Now let's start the next one. In third question, they have given eighty-four upon ninety-eight. Both are even number. We're going to do the same thing again. Prime factorization. If it is very difficult for you, go for the cancellation. It cancels in two table or any table where the number which has a common factor. Both numbers are divisible. Now we got two forty-two is eighty-four. Again, it goes in two table. Two twenty-one is so twenty-one. We got it. Now twenty-one goes in three table. Three sevens and seven ones are seven. Now we're going to do for the ninety-eight. Ninety-eight is again an even number. I'm going to start with two again. So ninety-eight, and if I do this with two, I'll get this in forty-nine. Now forty-nine goes in seven table. Yes, seven seven is forty-nine. 
7 and 7 and again 7 ones are 7. Now let's write down this again. So 84 upon 98 is equal to. So 84 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. And 98 can be written as 2 into 7 into 7. Now cancel out the common factors. So here I can able to cancel 7 and 2, right? 1, 2 can be cancelled and 1, 7 can be cancelled. Leftover numbers in numerator is 2 and 3. So multiply them. 2, 3 is a 6 I'll get. In denominator I'll get 7. So this is simplest form of 84 upon 98. Now moving on to the next question which is a fourth problem. We have a 12 upon 52. So in this question, both the numbers are even numbers. We can cancel out them uh, in a, a two table or a four table or just do the prime factorization. So 12, it's very simple. It's 2 into 2 into 3. 2 to the 4 and 4, 3 is a 12. Or you can just do the prime factorization. Now for 52, I'm going to start again with a 2. So here I'll take a 2 and I'll get 26. Again, 26 goes in... Uh, 2 table, 2 13s are and 13s are prime number. So 13 ones are 13. Now we can write down the numbers again. So 12 upon 52 is equal to. So 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3. And 52 is 2 into 2 into 13. So numerator and denominator, I have a 2 2s here. I can cancel them. So numerator, I have a 3. And in denominator, we have a 13. So, the fraction will be 3 upon 13. This will be the simplest form. So, 12 upon 52, simplest form is 3 upon 13. Now, we have a last problem which is 7 upon 28. You can directly cancel 7 and 28 because 28 goes in 7 table and 7 is a prime number. It doesn't go in any table. So, 7 upon 28 is equal. You can cancel them. Or just write down. I'm going to do the prime factorization for 28 just to show you. So here 28 goes in 2 table, 2 and then 14 and then 2 7s are 14 and 7 1s are 7. So 7 can be written as 7 into 1 or you can just simply write down 7. That's fine. 7 into 1 upon or you can just remove the 1 there. And here 28 is 2 into 2 into 7. So cancel out the 7 here. In the numerator and in denominator. So we are going to get here 1 upon 4. Now remember the 7 if we cancel out 1 is left out. It will not be 0. If it will be 0 then 7 into 0 will become 0. So if we are cancelling it the number will be 1. So the answer is 1 upon 4. So that's it. I hope it's clear. If you have any question or doubts you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.